All right, top three naturopathic recommendations for preventing illness. Number one, stay well hydrated. Now, I'm gonna be recommending two other things that are very, very important, but those two will do little to nothing if you are really dehydrated. Staying hydrated is by far the most important thing that you can do to keep yourself from getting sick in the first place. Drinking water, reverse osmosis, or distilled water with electrolytes added. Anything else is really kind of unclear. I would never recommend tap water. It just doesn't seem to hydrate very well. Uh, most bottled waters don't do very well. Most bottled waters are some form of filtration from tap water, um, which is anywhere from a minor improvement to something of an improvement. Um, so very important that you stick to either reverse osmosis or distilled water with electrolytes added for staying well hydrated. Number two, vitamin D. I would generally recommend 5,000 IUs minimum. Um, if you want to take more than that, I would say 5,000 IUs twice a day. Now, the reason I don't recommend higher amounts of vitamin D is that in studies, in amounts higher than 10,000 IUs, for some reason, the effects of vitamin D aren't seen when taking doses that are that high. So instances where you have 15,000, 20,000 IUs of vitamin D all at once don't seem to have the same beneficial effects for bone, um, anti-cancer, etc. with vitamin D as uh, smaller, more frequent doses. MDs, when they give their 50,000 IU megadose vitamin D supplements or shots, that I don't think is going to be beneficial uh, both for illness prevention and for um, vitamin D's many benefits. So even if your blood levels are very high, if it's through very high levels of supplementation, the ef beneficial effects of vitamin D supplementation may not be getting through. And my third recommendation is vitamin A, 10,000 IUs per day. And I'm gonna specifically recommend that that be from fish liver oil, not from beta carotene. Beta carotene does not work in isolation. You have an antioxidant system in the body known as the carotenoid system. And beta carotene is one single carotenoid in that system. When you have too much beta carotene by itself, that seems to influence the other carotenes in the system and sort of deplete them in a sense so that the carotenoid antioxidant system isn't staying balanced. So I generally never recommend beta carotene. It can help prevent blindness in individuals where that is needed, but you generally don't find that in the United States. And I've never seen it help prevent illness. That's all for today. So if you managed to go the whole winter without getting sick off of this advice, I'd be impressed. I usually have to do a little bit more than uh, just those three things. Um, but I also don't feel that I'm getting sick very often just doing these things alone. I will maybe once or twice a year feel like I might get sick and then have to take a few additional steps. Also, if you feel that the information in this video has been helpful to you, you can feel free to go to my webpage and donate whatever amount you feel that this information has been worth to you. Thanks. Have a great day.